back every year. It attracts thousands of people and their four-legged best friends, the Houston World Series of Dog Shows. Yeah, from seeing the newest gadgets around, uh, dog products, and of course, some of the most talented pooches around, there is a whole lot to do. And this morning, Chip takes a look at how those dogs are trained. Today is the first day of five for the Houston World Series of Dog Shows, and we are lucky enough to be exploring a training ground with some of the competitors of the agility, which includes Brittany here and, get ready for this, ready, go! Lori and Spree, who have just taken off on the training course. Man, they are really flying. This is not going to last long enough. Well, Brittany, tell me about being an agility trainer and going to the Houston World Series of Dog Shows. It really is one of the most fun shows really? here we do. The crowds are amazing. There's anything dog related there. Um, and doing agility in that atmosphere is, is a lot of fun. And I would assume that this is one of the favorite spectator sports. It is. Um, there's <laughs> not always that you're something biased going at all, on. Not course, at all. No. Um, but it is. The crowds love when the weaves do the seesaw and and you know the all of the jumps and the weave pulls especially. Yeah. Now you had mentioned that there are big crowds. Is this a pretty spectator heavy sport? It is the most spectators we get to see really? the entire time. You know we do this almost every weekend, but it's the only time we get to see crowds come out and cheer for our and dogs. And we've kind of changed it up. We got Sarah and Venture out on the course yes. now. So agility is is what we're seeing pretty similar to what people will see at the actual World Absolutely. Series. Absolutely. This is a standard course, which means it has all the contact obstacles in it. Um, and this will be one ring. The other ring will just be jumps and tunnels. Cool. Um, but yes, it's this is exactly what it's like. What are some of the other things that people will see if they come out to one of the, again, five days, Wednesday through Sunday at there, Energy? There's fly ball, there's obedience, there's freestyle, which is the oh, dancing cool. dogs. There's, Whoa, uh, wait, 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 wait. No one told me there was dancing dogs. So how does that work? There's people and they uh -huh. teach them to do all these moves and they dance with their dogs to music. It's, that's it is awesome. very, very exciting. I mean, agility's still the coolest, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it definitely but is. that's pretty cool. It is really cool. So, a lot of stuff, you know, for everybody. Yes, yeah, there's there's tons of stuff. Here. Well, there you guys have it, five days of fur fun, if I could try and use some alliteration in here. If you guys are looking for more information on the show, such as times and all the other fun stuff, head to my Facebook page, KPRC2, Chip Brewster. Back to you.